Hello, in this video we will be using function notation. So if we take a look at linear function or function of a line, before we had equation of y equals to let's say mx plus b and now in the function notation we will see f of x is equal to m x plus b. The actual equation is the same, the only difference is that when we use notation of f of x, we know exactly which x we are substituting into the equation. In this example we have f of x equals to 2x plus 3 and we have to calculate f of 5. What we have to do here is to substitute x equals to 5 into the original equation. So every time we see an x, we are going to be plugging in 5. So to calculate f of 5, we take the original function. So we have 2 times x plus 3. And instead of x, we will substitute 5. So we get f of 5 is equal to 2 times 5 is 10 plus 3. So f of 5 is equal to 10 plus 3 is 13 and this is our solution. In this example we have f of x equals to 2x to the second power minus 1 and we have to calculate f of negative 2. So anytime we see an x in the original function we will plug in negative 2. So f of negative 2 is equal to, let's take the original function of 2 times x to the second minus 1 and instead of x we are plugging in negative 2 and now we just need to follow order of operations to simplify we get f of negative 2 is equal to 2 times negative 2 to the second is negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4 minus 1 so f of negative 2 is equal to 2 times 4 is 8 minus 1. So f of negative 2 is equal to 8 minus 1 is 7 and this is our solution. In this example we have function g and g of x is equal to x to the third minus 2x squared plus 5 and we have to calculate g of negative 5. So anytime we see an x in the original function we are going to plug in negative 5 in there. So g of negative 5 is equal to the original function of x to the third minus 2 times x to the second plus 5 and instead of x we are going to plug in negative 5. So negative 5 to the third, negative 5 to the second. Now we just need to follow order of operations to solve for g of negative 5. So we get g of negative 5 is equal to negative 5 to the third. Negative times negative is a positive. Times negative we get a negative. 5 times 5 is 25. Times 5 is 125. Minus 2 times negative 5 to the second is negative. Times negative we get a positive. 5 times 5 is 25 plus 5. And we get g of negative 5 is equal to, we need to multiply before we combine like terms. And we get negative 125, negative times positive we get a negative, 2 times 25 is 50 plus 5. So g of negative 5 is equal to, let's combine from left to right, we have negative 125 minus 50. Same sign, we look for sum and it will be negative sum of 125 plus 50 is 175 plus 5 and g of negative 5 is equal to negative 175 plus 5, different signs, we look for difference. We have more negatives, so the difference will be negative and 175 minus 5 is 170. So g of negative 5 is equal to negative 170. So here we have f of x equals to 5x plus 7 and we need to calculate f of a plus h. So instead of x in the original function we are going to plug in a plus h. Let's use the original function of 5x plus 7 and instead of x we plug in a plus h. And now we just need to simplify. We have f of a plus h 
is equal to let's distribute 5 into the parentheses and we get 5 times a plus 5 times h plus 7 so we get f of a plus h is equal to 5a plus 5h plus 7 we do not have like terms so 5a plus 5h plus 7 is our solution that's all